called a no-no drill. If they don't jump over this, then they have done a bad no-no. An intense clash of the canines is just ahead. So Jamie and Bill Woodson are getting their Labrador retrievers ready for the rivalry. They love it. Right. They love the work. They want to get the duck. They want to be a great companion. And to watch them as athletes, as companions, um, and to watch them compete and to be a part of that, um, it's really fun. But for competitive people, back. Winning is a lot more fun than losing. And attention to detail is an absolute necessity if you expect to be a contender in the dog-eat-dog -dog world of field trials. They call it challenging the line of the blind. You know, don't, don't vary far from the true line. From a field trial standpoint, it's about how many whistles does it take to get your dog to pick up the blind. But also, what control are you demonstrating that the dog and you have as a team? Back. Even if the, the straight line is the quickest way, there may be a hazard that could injure the dog, so you need to be able to handle the dog away from the hazard and get them to the bird. It's work, it's commitment, Back. but it's just very rewarding. Jamie and Bill are so committed to this sport that some people seem to think they're just a little bit crazy. The madness started with a lab named Elvis, who's a lot more than just a hound dog. Elvis, uh, that was seven years ago, and so now That's here right. we are with a truck and a dog trailer and six field trial labs. And, uh, it's ridiculous, actually. We've lost our minds. <laughs> yeah, my mother literally thinks we have lost our minds. But. Everybody ready? Four, five, six, seven. 11, 12, 13. There's no doubt they're crazy about each other. I, I just don't know that I've ever met a person who was just a better all-around person than Jamie. She's a remarkable lady. She's a, she's a great mother. She's a great wife. I feel so blessed every single day. Um, you know, marriage is, is a blessing when you've got the right partner and the right friend. Like their dogs, they aren't the kind of people that just dip a paw in the water. If they decide to get wet, they're going in up to their necks. It's why Jamie served more than a dozen years as a Tennessee legislator, accepted an appointment to the Fish and Wildlife Commission. We had seven birds to start. How many dogs did we run? Is, is one out? And volunteered to be a judge on the opening day of the Middle Tennessee Amateur Retriever Club Spring Field Trial. This is my first time judging, but thankfully I've got a senior judge here to keep me straight. Actually, I think judging is harder than running the dogs because you really want to make sure that everyone who competes gets a fair go and that the dogs get a chance to really show their stuff. She's got a positive attitude. She is so willing to work and to get dirty, do whatever it takes. And she's got a real innate gentleness that shows in the way she treats the animals. Yeah. Because yeah. Jamie is judging, Bill has to handle one of her dogs yeah. Yeah. on a different yeah. field. Joe, you know, Jamie won third in that big open down in Georgia with her last weekend. So you can just imagine the pressure that I'm under if I mess this up somehow. Of course, I'm thinking about Bill. He's competing in the open, running three dogs, one of mine, and uh, really hope he's doing well over there. Keep. He might be in the doghouse tonight. I don't know. She, she just got her field champion title last weekend, so she's running pretty hot. If Bill doesn't do well today with Jamie's dogs, it's a very quiet ride home for Bill and Jamie. <laughs> Actually, you know what? This is, this is a tough sport. I'm, uh, I'm wishing them both well, but I won't hold anything against him. Despite a complex course, Jamie's dog keeper responds to her training and takes away the worry. It was good. I'd, I'd give that a B plus, A minus kind of thing, but ought to be good enough to play, I hope. So in the next two days of the event, Bill and Jamie are back together, sometimes with one watching as the other competes, sometimes running their dogs back to back, competing against each other. It, it's nerve wracking and Come on. exciting and um, it's harder to watch, I think, your partner compete because you just want everything to go well for them. Um, it has been for me. Yeah, I, I'm a lot more nervous watching her than I am when I'm handling a dog <laughs> myself. 
but we're both very competitive people. I'm kind of laid back about it, but I'm very competitive. And Jamie is I'm not laid competitive back off the charts. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we don't, uh, there's no confusion in either of our minds that, uh, you know, we want the other one to get the, the place right below what oh, place that's we not get. True. I mean, but I want well, her to do well. I want her to succeed. I want her just to not quite do as well as I do. <laughs> and she feels the same way. I wouldn't admit it. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> Woodrow. You don't have to watch these dogs work for very long to realize that for a handler to be successful in this sport, it takes patience, discipline, consistency, loyalty, trust. And when you think about it, those are the same kinds of characteristics we should expect from the people who represent us in government. Guns up first series. I, I don't know. I think for me, public service is just such a it's a privilege. Any sort of opportunity that you have to serve, um, it's a great, especially in Tennessee. I mean, we've got the greatest state to live, work, and play in the nation. Her heart's in the right place. She wants to do the right thing. Heal. Heal. Um, doing something Heal. bad or wrong is just not part of her makeup. And she's someone he can count on to go duck hunting, turkey hunting, fishing with him, while running their retrievers every chance they get and occasionally have an opportunity to, you know, take a bite out of the apple and actually win uh, is great. But really it's around, it's being around great people and seeing the dogs and yeah. working with the dogs, the relationship that we have with them. They don't have this terrible work life. They're our family. I'm Steve Hall on Tennessee's Wild Side.